Hey everyone, welcome to Infosec Train. So today our discussion is about three major technologies called as TPM, TWE, and HSM. So first of all, TPM stands for Trusted Platform Module, HSM stands for Hardware Security Module, and TWE stands for Trusted Execution Environment. So my name is Krish. For more information, you can visit my LinkedIn profile. So first of all, team, let's get started with the TPM. So encryption is a key component you hear everywhere. When talking about security, encryption is a key terminology which you will hear. And when you plan to install the latest operating system released by Microsoft, like the Windows 11. Now I'm trying to install Windows 11 on my computer and I'm having more than 4 GB RAM and I'm having more CPU capacity than they are demanding and we are having more storage capacity at all. But still, there is one key component which is very important called as a TPM or Trusted Platform Module. This is the minimum requirements you see in your Microsoft website for Windows 11. So in this, you can see that they have a requirement for you to have a TPM chip. It's a mandatory thing if you want to install Windows 11. So what exactly is TPM? And is it only for Windows 11? Not exactly. So when you say TPM team, the first and the key point is that it's actually an international standard for a secure crypto processor. It's a mini computer inside your computer. I'll give an example. Now, you have a laptop which is having a disk completely encrypted. Okay, let's say we have a corporate laptop and we have a disk of the laptop completely encrypted. So what we do is actually, you power on the laptop and they will ask you for a password. And you see that the password is, once you enter the proper password, or maybe if you place your fingerprint properly, it will decrypt the disk and the OS will boot up. So the TPM is the one which actually work in the background to help you with that process. So basically what happens is that when you enter the password and when you open the computer before the OS or hard disk starts or the OS boots up, they will ask you for a password. And when you enter the password, what happens is that that is validated by the TPM chip. It's actually a secure crypto chip in your motherboard, either embedded or plugged in. So basically what happens that will check the password or that will actually verify the password and then release the encryption key for decrypting your hard disk. That's how it actually starts in the case of Windows. So it's not only for that purpose, it can do a lot more things. So TPM is the international standard we have as we discussed. So it's a kind of mini computer like in a TPM chip, you will have a microcontroller, you will have some ROM, you will have some RAM, etc. It's a kind of minimal computer system, which is integrated or maybe plugged in to your computer. So what is the purpose of this? So there are many purposes like for example, starting from helping to secure your storage device, like starting from helping to secure your disk encryption to provide a proper encryption or uh, messages by signature for your email clients like Thunderbird, Outlook, etc. And for basically uh, using some kind of advanced HTTPS functionalities or SSL functionalities for all these things, we use the TPM. So TPM is a kind of hardware. It's a kind of crypto processor which can store cryptographic keys and those kind of certificates, etc. To make sure that whenever you want to use it for some purpose, the TPM can validate the request and only upon validation, they will actually release the proper authentication mechanism. It's based on the RSA bind key. There is a unique RSA key they will use for the asymmetric encryption, which is by default there in every TPM chip. Now the next point is that, see, don't, I have seen that most people just when talking about encryption, when talking about this TPM, the primary thing they will think is that it's more, they are more talking about the disk encryption only. TPM can definitely help in disk encryption for like before booting up for integrating with BitLocker and all TPM can help. But more than that, when you go for a TPM, it can also help help in integrating with your various web applications, websites, some corporate applications, corporate authentication for all these things, the TPM can basically be a detailed part of it. So first point is that, so how it's actually uh, secure? How do I say that TPM is a secure thing? That's the first thing. See, when talking about TPM, it's actually a secure process because basically what happens, it's actually designed with a minimal, very minimal secure interface. TPM is a complete minimal secure interface. So what happens? The TPM is, even if it's a part of your computer, even if it's part of inside your computer, it's actually not so easy to compromise. That means that if you supply the wrong information, like for example, if you have some kind of, you know, uh, attacks happening to your PC or somebody stole your laptop or some kind of brute force attack happens, the TPM can basically 
prevent all these things and basically they can actually withstand all these kind of scenarios like TPM can store this encrypted or key sign messages etc so that's about the basics of TPM team now we have something called as a HSM or hardware security module so the first point is that TPM is basically integrated as a part of your motherboard like you will see a chip like this what you see in the screen or maybe it's actually integrated on as a part of your motherboard almost every modern devices almost every modern computers which you use which is enterprise certified will be having this TPM for sure in their hardware 